Alright, TA Drinkers, I think we lit. Setting this up. Give me a second. Double check and make sure. Mm -hmm. Everything letting all up. Mm hmm. That's a fact. I T A drinkers. My bad. I'm just um putting this thing out. One second. Oh, I want to post it on Twitter. Boom. Cause I'm about to go over some basketball, man. Let's go to NBA.com. Go over some basketball. Let's go over some basketball, TA drinkers. No, something been off my thing, huh? Maxing. No. All right, TA drinkers, yo, we got mad basketball to talk about. First of all, this legendary coach John Thompson died. Got to pay respects. He was lit. Black dude. Hold on, hold on. Let me not disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me pull up a picture of John Thompson. Let's really, you know, pay our respects briefly. I was definitely about to go straight into the basketball. A lot of people were sad. I think I saw Kenny and Jess Smith crying. You know what I'm saying? Legendary coach. He about to be 79. Homie just passed. You know what I'm saying? He rocked a towel on his shoulder. R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? I actually know him. I'm not that. That, you know what I'm saying? Out of touch. I actually know who that is. He was a good coach. So, boom. Let's pull up some scores, man. Got a lot of basketball to talk about, TA drinkers. All right, so, boom. Today, we had the Miami Heat go against the Milwaukee Bucks. The first game in the second round. Miami won that game. I was shocked. I was not shocked. That's the wrong words. I knew coming into this series that Miami was going to compete with Milwaukee. I think I'm picking Milwaukee in seven games, but after one game, it's scary right now for the, for the Milwaukee Bucks. Super spooky. There's a lot of pressure on the Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo will be entering the final year of his contract next year. So they have, they have to impress him. They want to try and keep his services. They have trouble getting talent, so the last thing they need is to get eliminated in this second round when the team this year is real good, probably the best it'll ever be. And, um, you know, the Bucks have to at least get to the finals if they plan on keeping Giannis. Jimmy Butler went off. Let's pull some numbers. Jimmy Butler for the Miami Heat. I think he had a playoff career high. 40 points. 40 piece. Yeah. Look at the 40 piece. Jimmy Butt, boy. Jimmy Booty. Jimmy Butler. Out here. 13 for 20 shooting. 2 for 2 from the three point line. 12 for 13 from the free throw line. That's lit. Yes. That's lit. Goran Dragic had 27 points. Nice. Nice. I think Giannis almost had a triple double, but the way that did, basically, this is why I thought that Miami would be a problem. The way that Miami defends Giannis, they build a wall similar to how the Toronto Raptors did last year in the Eastern Conference Finals. So basically, you're not letting Giannis get to his strengths. This year, he's an improved jump shooter, but it forces Middleton to have to step up and be, you know, a big-time scorer for the Bucks, and it forces Brooke Lopez to step up and be a big-time scorer, and they both did that, but... Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. That's tough for Milwaukee. If Giannis is going to get locked up and all that, not locked up, but if they're going to be building walls for Giannis, trying to slow him down, and he's feeding his mans, and they cooking, and y'all still lose, y'all in trouble. Y'all in trouble. Miami might, might really beat them. I'd still be surprised. The Bucks are the favorite. Can't lose that. Then you got, you got the Thunder. And the Rockets. Woo! Yo, Chris Paul showed out. Wow, CP3, boy. 15 points in the fourth quarter. He still got it. 
This is impressive. The Houston Rockets have Russell Westbrook, the Energizer Bunny, West Breezy, my favorite player. He's coming back from an injury. He's not the same player right now. He made a lot of mistakes down the stretch. Mm. Game seven. I, I picked the Thunder to win this series before the series started because Westbrook was injured. He's back, but he's not, you know, at the level that you would expect him to be because he's coming back from an injury. Harden had 32 points tonight. Covington had 18 points. That's impressive. I ain't going to lie. I think Chris Paul, who's going against his former team, wants some revenge. Chris Paul was traded for Russell Westbrook. I think CP3 might really steal that seventh game. He had a, a, a plus 20, plus minus. Woo! 28 points, 5 for 5 free throws. Seven rebounds, only three assists. No turnovers, Chris Paul. God damn. Yeah, the playoffs is lit, man. Let's talk about these other series that I saw. These other, I think these past, the past day or two. And we're going to come back tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come back tomorrow. Let's see what we're looking at. Ooh, you know we got to talk about the Boston Celtics and the Toronto Raptors. T.A. Drinkers. I think the Boston Celtics are about to beat the Toronto Raptors. I think that, um, let's pull up these numbers. I think that, uh, the Toronto Raptors need Kawhi Leonard for a matchup like this. I think that, um, Jason Tatum is a monster. He plays the forward position for the Celtics. So does Kawhi Leonard. He played the forward position last year for the Toronto Raptors. And, um, they, they don't have a player, I think, that can come back what Tatum is doing for his team. You see, the Celtics have a very good point guard in a Kemba Walker. The Toronto Raptors can answer back with a Kyle Lowry. But I don't think that um the Raptors have an answer for Tatum. Maybe you could put Pascal Siakam to try and guard Tatum. I think Jason Tatum's a matchup nightmare, to be honest. The first game that the Celtics won, Tatum had 21 points. Jalen Brown chipped in 17. Daniel Teese, 13 points. Marcus Smart, 21 points. Kemba had 18 from the Bronx. Let's go. Toronto's a very good team, very good organization. They, in my opinion, want the respect for winning a championship last year, but unfortunately they won't get it unless, unless they get to the finals this year. The reason why they're not getting their respect that they that they so desperately want is because when they won last year, unfortunately, the people they played were injured. It's tough. Good luck, Toronto. I think y'all losing this series. I think it's going to be lit, though. I think it's um, Celtics and seven. Maybe that Bucks and Heat series is a six-game series. I think the Celtics and um, Raptors, seven games. Because Toronto has the heart of a champion. They're not going to go out. Like soft, you know? And Toronto could definitely beat them. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if Toronto represents the East this year and ultimately loses. But I think with Kobe's death, Lakers Celtics in the end, man. It's only right. Lakers Celtics. Speaking of Lakers Celtics, LA, the Clippers, they eliminated the Dallas Mavericks. I got a lot to say about this. First of all, in game six, the Clippers were great. No, no, no. In game six, the Clippers closed out well. But I ain't gonna lie. The Clippers won this series four games to two. This series should not have been as close as it was. I'm disappointed in the Clippers. I thought they were better than um, what they looked in this series. They looked bad. Um, here's why I say that. The Dallas Mavericks, they have two star players. One is Luka Doncic, who, if people didn't know was a star, they know him now because he was amazing. He even, he even um, hit a game winner in game four. His stats were crazy. Let's pull up Luka's numbers. Luka was unbelievable in this series. The reason why I wasn't impressed with the Clippers winning this series is because the second star for the Dallas Mavericks, Chris Stapps Porzingis, he got injured. He missed games 4, 5, and 6. Games 4, the Dallas Mavericks won. Games 5 and 6, the Clippers won. And then ultimately they were eliminated. But 
with Kristaps Porzingis missing games 4, 5, and 6 when the series was 2-1, Clippers up, and with Kristaps Porzingis getting ejected in the very first game, which was a BS ejection, then in my opinion, the series shouldn't be that close, especially if you have Kawhi Leonard, a top three player in the NBA, and you have Paul George, playoff plea, playoff P, sorry, who was playing like a, a, a bum in the first, I believe, first four games. He picked it up games five and six. Luka's numbers this series was crazy. 31 points, 9.8 rebounds, 8.7 assists. Almost a 31-point triple-double. Luka was amazing. Without Porzingis, if you give him Porzingis, I'm not going to lie. I think the Mavericks win this series. And not only that, I'm a retired Knicks fan. I was impressed to see that the Mavericks, they had three players that they got in the Porzingis trade. That was a part of their core, part of their rotation. And it just goes to show that how garbage the Knicks are. Because if I put some of the players that the Knicks have on other teams, they're more productive. Tim Hardaway Jr. had a solid series. He was a solid rotation, rotational player. Solid piece. He was a starter. Trey Burke. A lot of people was, probably didn't know anything about Trey Burke. If you a Knicks fan, you know he was like a little bootleg Iverson when we had him. He had the he had the braids with no hang time. He had the orange headband. And Trey Burke was cooking. Poor man's Iverson. And then obviously poor Zingas. And I think they also got Courtney Lee in that trade, but he don't play. So you got four players in the Porzingis trade. Porzingis was considered a throw-in because the Knicks was really trying to get Tim Hardaway Jr.'s contract off the books. And Dallas, Dallas won that trade, man. Big time. Anyway, like I said, I wasn't impressed with how the Cl how the Clippers had to go so hard to get the W. I feel like they should have got the W and looked more impressive. Because the Mavericks had a key injury, a big-time injury. If they didn't have that injury and if the referee didn't eject their player, the Mavericks probably end up winning that series. Now, I also want to talk about the Morris twin, Marcus Morris Sr., former Nick. He a dirty player. Straight up, he a dirty player. Um, it became more and more apparent that he was targeting Luka Doncic. He couldn't guard Luka Doncic. He had a scuffle with Luka in game one, which is what got Chris Tass Porzingis ejected. Let me show you who Marcus Morris Sr. is, by the way. Luka had a sprained ankle. I believe in game five, the Morris twin, he stepped on, on Luka's foot conveniently. And then in game six, there was a point in time when Luka was driving to the hoop. And, Mar and the Morris Twin flat out hit Luka in the back of his head. You know the medulla ab oblongata? That piece that like connects your spine and your neck and all that. Super, super sensitive spot. And Morris Twin cocked his hand and said, POP! Morris Twin is defending himself on Twitter and in interviews basically saying, you know, he ain't a dirty player, but, um, If you look at how he threw a ball off of somebody's head, Justin Anderson, this is a past basketball game. If you look at how he was playing against Ben Simmons in a past basketball game also, and he fell on Ben Simmons and kind of need Ben Simmons in the back of the head, and then you look at this series where he going back and forth with Luka, and then the back-to-back -back incidents in game five and six, Morris Twin was targeting Luka, no doubt about it. It is basically, it's just, in my opinion, it proves to me, if you were sleeping on Luka, Luka's a star. Luka's a top 20 player in the league, definitely. You got cats out here who are goons that's being sicked on him to hurt him because they can't guard him. Luka's nice. Luka's nice. Luka's nice. I feel you, Morris Twin. I feel you. I like I like how he going about it. He dirty as hell, but but 
He defending himself. He not self snitching. He like, I right, you know what? You know what the Morris twin doing? A lot of y'all youngins, y'all might not know about Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds is, in my opinion, the best baseball player I ever seen. Now, his numbers, Barry Bonds, his stats are crazy. He is allegedly linked. Not allegedly linked. He is linked. To allegedly using steroids, human growth hormone, whatever, whatever, whatever. He never got caught. With a dirty test. To this day, Barry Bonds defends himself. Always says, yo, I ain't take no steroids. I ain't take HGH. Nothing, none of that. None of that. Even though we all suspect he did. Because he got bigger and then his numbers just started getting crazy. So at the end of the day, Morris Twin ain't self-snitching on himself. You feel me? I respect that. I like that. Even though we can all see he clearly was targeting Luka. And he's clearly a dirty player. Yo, the Denver Nuggets, Utah Jazz... Game six, wow, Jamal Murray, son. Hold on, let me see if I got pull up these numbers for you. Jamal Murray's numbers are crazy. God damn, Jamal Murray, for real. Let me pull up these numbers, bro. Hold up. Jamal Murray's going off. I've been having watching him play. And Donovan Mitchell is cooking too. They're going against each other. That game seven is about to be crazy. Yo, game seven. Um, OKC Rockets. I think I'm going to go with OKC. I think Chris Paul is fiending to get a W. The way Houston plays is basically, if they hit their threes, they in there. If they miss their threes, they going to struggle. And then Utah-Denver. That game seven. I think I'm going to have to go with Denver. I picked Denver before the series started simply because Utah had some injuries. Michael Conley Jr. was missing time. Oh, yeah, and Jamal Murray's been super woke. He's been wearing the glasses, looking fly. He's been um, rocking some sneakers. He got um, George Floyd on there. I think he got Breonna Taylor on there. Jamal Murray, he's been woke. He's been going to work. He got the numbers. Man. Streaming Friday. Oh, 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 none of that, none of that. Please, don't get me in trouble. Yo, the past three games, two of them, Jamal Murray got 50 points. Wow. The one that he didn't have 50 points, he had 42. Oh, my God. All this while being down three games to one. He had 50 in a loss, and then he won two straight, 42 points, and then a 50-point game. The last game with the 50, nine threes, nine for 12. God damn. Jamal Murray's going nut. Yo, Jamal Murray, in this three-game span, he became one of two players with 40 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, and zero turnovers in a single playoff game. The only other person to do that, Hakeem Olajuwon. Wow. Jamal Murray's from Canada. And I don't know if y'all know this, T.A. Drinkers, but he definitely, unfortunately, during the corona and all that, there was a mistake where um, he accidentally uploaded something on, on social media. Him, him and his girlfriend, you know? Yeah, it was one of those. So Jamal Murray's clouding up, man. I'm proud of him. Win or lose, Jamal, I know you nice. And I got to do another top five. You're going to be in the top five point guard. you probably be an honorable mention. No worthy goon, you feel me? No worthy goons, yes. Mm -mm -mm. And then, of course, we already know the Lakers closed out the Blazers. LeBron, 36-point triple-double. It's lit. T.A. Drinkers, you know what it is, man. Just wanted to go over some of the playoff stuff, you feel me? We got, um... Tomorrow, who's playing? Hold on, let me pull up. Pull up, who's playing tomorrow? Who's playing tomorrow? Let's see the schedule. Oh, I like the other screen. 
Let me see. All right, boom. Tomorrow we got the Celtics and the Raptors. Then we got the Game 7 Jazz and Nuggets. Oh, my God. That Game 7 is going to be nuts. And Toronto's really in a fight for their lives. I, I think Toronto's a great team, but... Jason Tatum was a big-time Kobe Bryant fan. He is affected by the death of Kobe Bryant. R.I.P. the GOAT. It's just another level that that kid is playing on right now. Hence why I don't, I don't think Toronto will, will be able to overcome unless they had a player like a Kawhi Leonard. It was he, your drinkers. You know what it is, man. Another late night live, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you follow me on Twitch, because this is where I'm going to be doing my lives from now on. You feel me? I'm going to do my lives on Twitch and then probably upload it to YouTube after. And make sure you subscribe. YouTube, press the like button, show love. It's lit, all that, you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's almost 5 in the morning. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? Yo, T E A A A A A A. Mm. Holla back. Grr. Yeah.